you welcome to News Point on Tech TV. My name is Jay Mapia. Coming up, the Ashanti Regional Police Command has been promoted to rank of Commissioner of Police. European Commission Chief calls on UK to clarify stance on its exit. These and many more coming your way shortly. Now, so very first story, the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, will host the flag bearer of the Convention People's Party, CPPI, for Cobernat Green Street today in the second edition of its Evening Encounter series. The flag bearer is expected to outline his major policy statements ahead of the November polls. The IEA Evening Encounter series is a platform designed for political parties and their flag bearers to interact with a cross-section of Ghanaians through civil society and other interest group representations. Now, the Ashanti Regional Police Commander has been promoted to the rank of Commissioner of Police, and this was done by the President John Dramani Mahama. According to a statement from the Ghana Police Service, his promotion took effect from June 1, 2016. The statement also conveyed the Inspector General of Police, IGP John Kudela's congratulatory message to COP Boache. COP Boache took over from DCOP Augustin Jenin in 2014 as the Shanti Regional Police Board. His last promotion was in 2012 when he was promoted from the rank of Assistant Commissioner of Police to Deputy Commissioner of Police. Reports say the Electricity Company of Ghana has disconnected supply to the new Cape Coast Sports Stadium of what 700,000 Ghana cities debt. The disconnection is part of efforts by the ECG to recover money's owed it. The Cape Coast Sports Stadium was only commissioned in May by President John Mahama and has only hosted one international match that's Ghana's U under 20 against e Ethiopia in an Africa Youth Championship College. Fire. The multi sports facility boasts of 21 fully furnished rooms that accommodate two individuals per room, two halls for the table, tennis, and boxing, respectively, with the latter loaded with equipment and gym equipment for the boxers. South Africa's Treasury has recommended President Jacob Zuma pay back over $500,000 to the government for upgrades made to his private home. This comes after the country's highest court ruled earlier this year that Mr. Zuma repaid some of the $23 million of public funds spent on his house in 2009. The upgrades included an amphitheater, pool, chicken and cattle enclosure. Mr. Zuma must now repay the money, about 3% of the total spent within 45 days. Now, European Commission Chief Jean-Claude Yanka has urged UK to clarify its position on Brexit as soon as possible. He told the European Parliament that Britain and the EU remained friends, but it needed to state its position to avoid uncertainty. Prime Minister David Cameron is to meet European Union leaders for the first time since the UK voted to leave later on Tuesday. He's stepping down to allow his successor to conduct exit negotiations. Mr. Cameron has said it will be up to the next Prime Minister when to trigger the formal method by which the country leaves the EU, Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty. And that's all for News Points on Tech TV. My name is Shema Pia. Thanks for watching.